Based on given specifications, our group had to design a wing structure which meets structural performance requirements under weight and volume constraints. The first stage of the process was using Excel to perform preliminary designs and to find a design that worked with our specifications. Next, we had to decide which SPA construction method to use. We cut small pieces of material and tried to do it two ways – A and B method and 45 degree cut, which turned out to be our final choice. It was easier to keep it square and the SPA itself was stronger when glued this way. Next, different parts of the wing required for an overall assembly were designed using SOLIDWORKS – SPA, RIB, trailing edge and leading edge. Our following step was an experimental. We made an example spa and tested its bending moment and torsion. It failed at the root because that's where the highest bending moment is. In torsion test, twist angle was larger than predicted due to experimental error. The spa turned out to be stronger than was expected and calculated on our spreadsheet. For the ribs we used the SOLIDWORKS model to create a drawing which we transferred to the foam and cut out to create a sample wing. The design of spa that we tried didn't quite work because we made it the wrong size and it was too big for the rib. After we made the right spa for the sample wing, we added ribs, leading and trailing edge, and a piece of solar foam to test the overall design. After all the tests, we made parts for our final wing, glued everything together, added solar foam and finished our wing design project.